What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and in today's episode we're going to be going over how to launch the Unreal Engine Editor through Visual Studio. Now this is really, really helpful because if you launch the editor through Visual Studio, the processes are already attached. When the processes are attached, that means that you can actually use breakpoints and have communication between Visual Studio and Unreal. This communication will be really useful to avoid things like hot reload and live code errors that pop up when working on your game and editing the code. So this is something I always recommend to all my friends, everyone watching the tutorials when I can, because it just makes your life a lot easier, and I wholeheartedly recommend it. I've used it a few times throughout the tutorial series, but I never had a real video on just how to set this up. It's very simple. This process is quite simple, but we are going to take you through the entire thing so you can see it. The first thing you want to do is open up the editor. So open up any version of Unreal that you want. This will work in Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5. I'm going to use 5.1.1 today. And once this opens up, we will create the project that we want to use. We'll want to create a C++ and Blueprint project, not a Blueprint only project. It is possible to add C++ to a Blueprint only project, but to make today's episode as easy as possible, we're just going to start with a project that already has C++ and Blueprints in it. Of course, if you already have a project in mind, you don't have to create a new one, but I am creating a new one today. And you can pick any template that you want or just make a blank project, it doesn't matter. We're going to make the top-down template. We're going to use that as our template that we're starting with. Now let's go ahead and look at the defaults here. So we can change Blueprint to C++. We can look at the target platform, quality preset, the starter content, ray tracing, all that good stuff. Once we do that, we can rename the project to whatever we want. I'm gonna call it the top-down template. Then you can go ahead and choose your path as well. And once you've done all that, your project is ready to go. At this point, you can go ahead and hit create to actually make the project, and then we'll wait for it to bring up everything, compile its shaders, do all that stuff that it normally does when making a new project. You can see it created all of the project files in the background there, and if you have Visual Studio and Unreal knows to open Visual Studio as your default compiler, then you will have the solution file open automatically, as well as the U project file. Unreal is opening up, it's compiling the shaders, waiting for the editor to open. It's opening, it's going to compile shaders in here. Once all that is done, we're going to go into Visual Studio and finally get started. If the solution file did not automatically open when creating the project, no problem at all. Just go to your file explorer and go to wherever you created your project, whatever path you set up when creating the Unreal project and go in there and look at the solution file right here. It should have been created. It's called the name of your file, .sln for solution. Make sure you right click on that and open it with Visual Studio if you haven't already. I'm opening mine with Visual Studio 2022. Once you open it, you should see what I saw in the video. It might look slightly different if you have a different version of Visual Studio, but otherwise it'll be the same. You can see it, I am opening up some files from the Solution Explorer. This isn't required, I'm just testing and making sure that everything looks good so that I know I can launch the editor from here. So I see that all the files were created as they should have been. And so now we're at the topic of the episode, launching the editor through Visual Studio. This is a fresh solution, I haven't done anything. Now Visual Studio is smart and it will track your preferences and your configurations. Unreal also helps with this now too, starting in Unreal Engine 5. So there's less of a manual process in actually getting this to work. But if you want to launch the editor through Visual Studio, you can hit that play button up top that says local Windows debugger. Now if this is the first time you're doing this, this will almost definitely fail. But for me it's going to succeed because I use it all the time. So you see I've hit play and now I'm just going to wait and it will launch the editor on its own. If it doesn't for you, which is going to be the case for most people, then we'll go ahead and show you how to actually set this up to work, just as you saw on the screen. So now I am back to Visual Studio before launching, and you'll see on the right hand side here I have something called the Solution Explorer. The Solution Explorer is where I can see the different projects, or quite literally the different solutions that I have in this project. In here we have the Engine folder and the Games folder. The Engine folder is the engine files, so UE4 or UE5 engine files. 
the games folder is our files, so the top down template files, or the files that I would edit while I'm working on my game. So it could be my character files, my game mode files, anything like that. The first element in the folder is the project, and we want to select the project that we want to start when we press play in Visual Studio. By default, this is typically set to the UE4 or UE5 engine project. We want to change this now by right clicking on our project, the top down template, and selecting the set as startup project option. Now Visual Studio is trying to launch the right project, however, we also need to edit this solution configuration to make sure that it is launching in the way that we want. So if you go to the solution configuration tab here, you see some options, debug game, debug game editor, development, development editor, and shipping. You also have the ability to customize this more so than what we're going to go over today, but we're going to stick with just these defaults for now. Debug game, development, and shipping will launch the project with that particular configuration. However, if we want to actually launch the editor and be able to modify our project within Unreal, we need to specifically select the options that say editor. Debug game has more debugging options, but it's a little bit slower. Development has less debugging options and is a little bit faster. I typically run it on development editor, but either of the two editor options will work. At this point, we have another build configuration choice to make, and this is the Windows 64 versus Windows 32. You might have some other ones in there as well. For me, I actually only have Windows 64, and that's what you're going to want to use to launch Unreal. If you do have other options, and if those other options are selected, such as Win32, make sure you change it to be Win64. This just stands for Windows 64-bit, so it's nothing confusing. Technically, you can run Win32 on Unreal Engine 4, but the support has been removed for Unreal Engine 5. So unless you're specifically trying to achieve a certain result with Win32, I recommend just sticking to Win64. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and hit the play button, which is that local Windows debugger button. And it should start launching the editor, like you see on the screen right here. Now, since you've done this, you don't have to attach the process to actually use breakpoints. So if you go and you put a breakpoint in the code and then play the game, it will be hit since the processes are already attached. This is a very, very helpful debugging tool. I use it all the time, and I really, really suggest that you use it as well. Now, I have a whole video on making breakpoints, putting them in, and utilizing them, but if you want to use them, you can just go to the code when the project is running. Go to a file where code is going to be executed. So for me, I went to my top-down template character.cpp. It's in the source folder. You saw me open it earlier. Then I scroll down to my tick function and put the breakpoint right there, super colon colon tick. Basically, this will run every frame. So as soon as we launch the game, we should hit this breakpoint, and you'll see that we do. I'm going to return to the editor and launch the game. And wait for it. There we go. And the breakpoint has been hit. So now we can debug like usual. There are other benefits to launching through Visual Studio, such as avoiding hot reloads and live code errors. If you're familiar with Unreal, you've probably run into these, and they are completely eliminated by using this method. I want to thank you for the people who put out recommendations for this video. It's really helpful to know what you guys are interested in seeing, so feel free to suggest anything that you want to see, and I'll gladly add it to the list of videos to cover. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. It does more for myself and the channel than anything else you can do, and I just really appreciate it. If you're having any issues getting set up and launching the editor through Visual Studio, please feel free to click the link in the description related to the Discord community. I'll be happy to help you out, and it is completely free. And if you want to check out the Patreon or YouTube membership to help support me further and gain some benefits for yourself in the process, you can click these I cards in the top right corner right here and check those places out. Thank you so much for all the support. I really appreciate it, guys. Anyway, guys, like I said, I'm Sean the Bro. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.